Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog, and I'm finally back with another LEGO review and continuation of the Holiday 2018 series and the continuation of the LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar. I am sorry I've been gone. I've been gone for days 10 through for days 10 through 17. I'm now back here. I've been so busy I haven't had time, so I'm sorry that I guess I had to miss the I had to miss out on the other three days of the LEGO Batman movies stuff and the Star Wars stuff. That's kind of shame, but I'm doing the Harry Potter stuff now, so at least if there's that. And so let's get on with the view. And here we, right here, we have the Grindelwald, the, the Wizarding World's Grindelwald's Escape. This is set number 75951. This comes with too many figures, 132 pieces, and retails for 20 bucks in the States. I'm sorry that the lighting is not nor that the lighting's not exactly how it is normally, but since that thing's not up there, I plus I misplaced the flashlight that I used somewhere. It's somewhere. I don't know where it is, but at least I can do this. Go back to the old days before the Bricktober pack from Marvel. Let's go on with the minifigures. So here is. I can't. I I see. I'm looking at the thing here. I can't pronounce. I can't pronounce her name. <laughs> So this is her. She looks just like how she did in does in the in the movie. She has her new she has using the new dress piece. She has her purple wand. She has a nice she has a nice clothing at her. She has has some power things over there to show that she that she has power that the wand is being used in the power. She has a specific hand. She has a gold stroke of hair. She has a it's kind of nice. It's nice. I like it. I like the minifigure. But at least this one's are detailed. Here is Grindelwald. He has his he has his wand here. He also has powers shooting from there. He's got a different hair piece than he did in the other set. Sorry, it's just nothing. It just looks like this thing is kind of off. The just the hair is kind of off. Or if that's normal, I don't know. It just looks different than the normal hair piece that we're used to getting. So he's got his white hair. He's got his kind of clear eye. It's hard to see since there's not really much light shining off. But it's nice. He has a trench coat on. It's all in the it's all in the detail. He has a trench coat on. He has some. He has a shirt in there. Two other shirts in there. That's nice. Now let's go on with with the with the carriage. So this is nice. And finally, after years of waiting, we finally got another Thestral. The Thestrals, if you don't know anything about Harry Potter and you're just watching this because you like Lego, then this the Thestrals are are mystical creature or mystical horses that you can only see if you've actually seen death. So there is a lesson in Lego. Good for you. Here's a little area where you can where a person can ride can just sit down and ride the Thestral around, directing them there. Then it's a nice it's a nice this is a nice carriage. Has some lights on the top here. Has some doors. Door here, door there. Has big wheels here, it's small wheels there. This can move. The entire industrial park can move around here or there. Nothing else can move. You can also lift this part up in order to get to the holding cell where they're putting where they put Grindelwald the where they put Grindelwald under arrest in order to move them to a better prison. There's also a step there's also an area here to show where you can actually step up and get to the the top is also nice. It's very smooth. I like that. I like that. Now they end up making this thing. They also have these two things here. I don't know exactly what to call these things. So yeah, this is pretty much the set. And let's go on with, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, I think seven to eight days of advent calendar. Yeah, yeah. So that's good for you. So let's go, I'm pretty sure, let's go number 10. So right here we have the... We have a little turret cannon, has a little flick fire missile and like a little control here where you can end up, you know, having it, you can either go make it go up or down, it's just customizable turret, so that's nice. I'm, j I think I'm just going to do a day nine, I'm sorry if I've already done this, but I don't even remember. Wait, no, I did, I did do, no, I did do number nine, now I remember what it was, I forgot what it was first, so. Let's go on to number 11. In number 11, we have Rowan Freemaker from Freemaker Adventures. 
So this is Rowan. He, this is nice. He has his, his. It's not not much is different about him. He has the. He has the same frizzled hair as he does in the set. In the set of the. I forgot, I forgot what the set was called. He has a little, he has his rebellion outfit on with his tan shirt that actually shows that it's a freemaker. Is the freemaker thing? There you go. He has the freemaker. Freemaker symbol. That's nice. He has tan pants, and he's got his lightsaber. Now there's something that can go along with the arrowhead from day three, so that's nice. So he made that. So that's yeah, nice information if you don't know that. Day number twelve. Here we come. And day number twelve, if I can find it, it was this. Yep, yep. I'm on the right, I'm on the right date. Pull it out. Yep, this is Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. I like this build. It's actually nice. It's based off of the new one that we got into, got this year in 2018. It's got, it's very smooth. It's a lot smooth. There's smoothness here, 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 and even here. I mean, it's kind of flat, but it's still more smoother than the other stuff. It has a little cockpit area and a little area where you can put the droids, like R2D2. Or a traitor, which I don't even remember the name. R three L six, I think maybe. Um, R three M six, somewhere around there. R three Blast six, whatever, somewhere around there. I like this. It's a nice build. It's nice. Day number thirteen is is the. I'm pretty sure it is the cruiser. It's the Imperial cruiser. It's one of those rebels things. It's it's nice. It has a little. I don't know much about Rebels. I mean, I did see some episodes, some of the episodes in the end, but I don't know much about this. So, tell me in the comments below if you actually do know. And then number day 14. Day 14, 14. I haven't even prepared for this. I'm literally just... But, okay, I'm going to do this right now while I still have time. Oop, the blue one is... Pretty much it's a weapons rack. This is a weapons rack. One of the weapons end up coming off. Now I could just place it back on there. Uh, get in there. There you go. Whoops. Tilted. So the weapons rack. So it's nice. It has some grays and some reds and some tans. And some, uh, some teals. I think that's what the color is called. Uh, looks like it's imperial or first order-ish. So whatever. Day number 15, 15, we have, if I can open this thing up, we have a Death Trooper. This is nice, this, these are those things that appeared in, that appeared in Rogue One. So it's nice, it has the custom mold, it has the custom mold that it's supposed to have for the Death Troopers. It has that stuff, that green stuff on the bottom, those green lights, and it has a black suit, with the black belt with the silver connecting part. There's some things in the back there, so that's pretty cool. That's a nice when you figure. Day number 16, we have here. We have the Raptar. We have the Raptars. That's pretty, this is nice. These are those creatures that appeared in episode, episode 3, episode 7. And these are it's a nice little build. It has the tentacles, has the mouth, has the body. It's nice. It's what they can do, and that's what all that matters. Day number 17, we have... I forgot what this was. I forgot what this guy was called. Tell me in the comments below. He's red. He's a circle. He appeared in bro he appeared in the first Force Awakens. That's nice. I don't know much about this guy. I know he's from some. He's from sort of, sort of I don't know, smuggler bounty hunter thing. So that makes sense. Here and finally, we've reached day 18, which is today. We have the First Order Tide Van. We have the First Order Special Forces Tide Fighter. The only thing that's really special about it is that it supposedly has a turret, and this part is red there, showing that's different than the normal black. So that's nice. It has a little, it's a nice build for the Tide Fighter. I'd say it's seasoned. It's doable. That's all I can say. So, yeah, I guess I hope you like this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more. I will hopefully try to actually... Act, uh, I will hope to try actually finishing this stuff before December 23rd, when I finally... So, when that supposedly... I was said it was supposed to finish. Hope you like this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more. See you guys next time. Bye!